Choo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Millie is already enjoying herself. Look at her just being a swamp panther. Anyways, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. So today's video is something that you guys have really, really wanted, you guys requested. Basically, if you missed the whole series, I made a four part series of building a doomsday shelter. And I told you guys, hey, if this video gets 25,000 likes, I'll do a 24 hour challenge with Millie and well, you guys crush. They got like 25,000 likes in like two hours. So you guys destroyed it. But if you guys are new to the channel, this is the new doomsday shelter. So this was an old boathouse. Like I said, if you guys are brand new to the channel, you guys don't even know what it looks like. You guys should really go watch the series before you watch this. But we basically transformed this whole thing. This used to just be just a rickety old boathouse. There really wasn't much to it. And now we turned it into this. Boom, right there. Look, we got pew pews hanging everywhere. We got a bed, there's storage under the bed. We've got batteries, solar panel on top, TV, cooktop, propane, everything. And then over here, so you guys wouldn't even know boom little secret back door you go that way give that a little tap and you walk back here and then you come around climb this ladder and you've got a whole sniper tower look at that our and look rainwater collection which uh we installed this gutter it's it, it looks like it got moved uh at what point it was right there and it filled up that much so i mean hey at least we know it's somewhat working but like i said you guys wanted to see a 24-hour challenge that's what we're doing so today is not like a survival challenge where i didn't bring any food and water and i have to survive today is basically doing a test run so assuming doomsday happens and i got to use this as my bug out hideout shelter i got to make sure everything works i got to make sure the solar power works and the propane cooker so basically i, I mean i packed so much stuff like right here this is all my stuff. You guys are saying, what do you, you, what, you need all this to go camping? No, because we're not camping. We're test running, living here. So I brought all the things I would want to live here, not just camp and temporarily stay, but like if I had to chill here for like a year, I brought all the things. So I literally brought a PlayStation with Call of Duty. So we're going to try to install that and play some COD a little bit later. I brought an iPad down here. Uh, basically just, you know, I download some videos from YouTube, but like I just want to make sure that like it can charge it and stuff like that. Because I only put, I only put a 100 watt solar panel up there. So it's not really that much. We brought food for, ba okay, so right now, let me give you guys a time check. Hang on. So as you can see right there, it is 9.29 a.m., okay? So nine, basically 9.30, that means 9.30 tomorrow morning, um, I can take off out of here. So basically, like I said, today's like the trial run. So we brought everything for basically lunch. I already ate breakfast at home, so I kind of, I didn't really cheat, but I mean, I, I ate earlier. Um, but we're gonna prepare lunch here, dinner here, and breakfast tomorrow morning, and Millie, She's chasing water bugs right now. She's living her best life, I guess. So she's gonna be hanging out with me the entire time. So I brought a little bit of dog food. But I plan on just kind of sharing everything with her. Um, she'll probably end up just sleeping on this bed with me. Otherwise, I've got an extra blanket um, that she can stay on here. So a lot of you guys that watch the series are like, why didn't you insulate it, Flair? I don't understand why you, you, the whole, all this work you, listen, folks, okay, first off, there's holes everywhere in this thing. This thing is not like, that top corner, you guys can't see it, it's, it's completely open. I didn't wanna go through the work of sealing up all the cracks and insulating everything. Listen, oh God, that, look at that spider. Oh, hell no. Boom, see you later, dude. Absolutely freaking not. So anyways, yeah, I've got everything for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I also brought stuff for coyote hunting, fishing, bass fishing, cat fishing, and coyote hunting, I say that, coyote hunting. Um, and then Millie and I were probably going on like a hike. You guys haven't, I really haven't shown you guys much of what has that, I mean, it's like, a lot of of land that's just like forest super dense we've caught some bobcats up there so i mean you guys have seen some of it but her and i will go on some nature hikes and stuff keep us busy like i said it's not the goal isn't just like sit here and play cod all day but i want to basically try out if i hey if i live here if i had to live here for like a year what are the amenities i would want and do they function properly so with that being said we're gonna get all this stuff unloaded we can use like the under storage of the bed for storage or put it in the corner and stuff like that and kind of get everything prepped and then i'm gonna start fishing i'm gonna get right into it and start fishing and get to dangling but before we do that i do want to let you guys know that google squad dropped a whole bunch of new merch we got a whole bunch of, i'll pop up some pictures here so if you guys want to go cop that merch go check it out support me support all my other homies that are out here grinding making this content for you guys. If you guys want to get geared up for bass fishing or just look freaking sick, swagged out, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Go click it, um, but let's get unloaded and get to dangling. We got it rigged up, folks. We got the old Rattlin' on and the old Junior Scout Guggen Squad Jerkbait. It's perfect time of year to throw a jerkbait. Jerkbait, lipless, there's a bunch of different options. So we're going to start with this. But if you guys see this thing, if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know what this thing is, this is the Flare Signature Bundles. This whole thing gets delivered to your doorstep, looks freaking sick, and I handpicked all the baits in here for my personal favorite baits, like of all time, all my favorite colors and baits that Guggen Squad has to offer. We've got buzz baits, rattling neds, lunker logs, flat bangers, normal bangers, the old frog, buzz baits, and the old bandito bug. All in my 
favorite colors of all time. So we're going to start with the old Ratlin Ned and the Junior Scout and see kind of where it goes. We're, we're going to see what happens here. Um, it's a, well, it's, it, it's, we got a little breeze on this side, so it shouldn't be bad. I really hope to catch some fish on a jerk bait today, but I'm going to bring on the old GoPro and just take you guys around and we're just going to fish. Like I said, we're just, I'm going to kill some time. I want to, I want to catch some fish, see if we can get some fish down. Um, on my plan is to probably fish until about lunch, come back inside, cook up some lunch, feed Millie, and then maybe throw a catfish line out, maybe rip some Call of Duty or something like that. Um, and just kind of relax. She's living her best life. I don't even know where she is. I, I can hear her like snorting and trotting around. She's, she's somewhere up in the woods somewhere over there, but we're going to grab the poles and head out and hopefully we can catch some fish. I'm going to apologize in advance if the quality of this video of like the GoPro footage is a little bit, you know, cheekish. I can only find my old GoPro. So we're just ripping the old school one. It shouldn't be too bad, but you know, it's not going to be what you guys are probably used to. So anyways, we're going to take these two, two little dangle sticks out there and give her a hack. If these don't work, I've got some backup plans. We've got this guy right here, the old lipless crank. That'll for sure do it and another option would be for this cold water the flat banger that's also on or the lunker log those are that's basically what my plan is today to, d to do a little dangling with but i'm gonna i'm actually just gonna start off on this point with the junior scout this, since it's kind of like a kind of a windblown point and i know this side's a little bit deeper um than some of the other parts in the lake so oh there's a bluegill right here and it's dead oh geez nice it's huge i don't know how well you guys can see it right there that's a good that's like a hand like a big big bluegill hopefully hopefully i don't see any more of that that wouldn't be a good deal. Just have a bunch of fish that got KO'd. Miller, are you helping the clarity right now? I mean, look at it. It's looking great. We're gonna have to be using chartreuse black back here in a second and keep it up. But let's just go ahead and throw, I'm throwing the junior just cause it, it runs a little bit shallower. This is like a three to five deal. And this is in the bluegill color. Something that, like I said, Millie's over here staying up the water. So you want something that they can see with that little chartreuse tail, but who knows, maybe she's a, maybe she's a fish attractant. You guys think the hydro wave is sick? Try taking a greater Swiss mountain dog out there and uh, see what happens to your bite. See how, see how fire the bite is. You guys think you need a fish finder? Look, she's, she's out here finding the fish. She's looking through this brush pile for me. So far, she hasn't barked. When she barks, that's when you know you're on the juice. Billy and I are on the other side. You guys can see the shelter and everything's parked over there. We're going on the dam. This is definitely where I caught the most fish last year, fishing from the dam, at least from, from the shore. But the water is, it's not crazy low, but it's definitely lower than it was last year, um, like last fall when I moved in. And that's probably because I unplugged the creek down there. There's a creek that it feeds down and then runs out in there. And I unplug that. Um, I need to kind of plug it back up. The reason why I plugged it is because I was afraid it would wash over, which is what happened here. I didn't live here at the time. Uh, this was before I moved in, but this here, huge washout that Millie's running down into right now is because of it basically overflowed right here. So you don't really, you don't really want that. I think that's a, that must be what these, this sand is here for. They must put sandbags here, but you don't really want that. So I unplugged it, but now I'd like to get it higher for, oh, oh dang, there's frogs everywhere. Shoo. I'd like to get higher for the spawn. So that way the fish have more habitat, I guess, to uh, venture around in. I still want to make this a pond back here. For those of you guys, there was a paintball course we built back there. We've done a lot of stuff back there, but I still would like to make this side a pond. I just need to find somebody that can teach me how to build a dam on that backside. But let's go ahead and keep on fishing. Hopefully we can catch a fish. Well, I think I can officially say I am straight cheeks, folks. Millie, I'm freaking starving. I don't know about you. It's almost noon already. Literally just fished. That point to here, back and forth, back and forth, like five different kinds of baits. It just, it just ain't happening. I'm blaming Millie, one, she muddied up the water, but two, it's been raining and really cold. Last night was like 30 degrees. Tonight should be a little bit warmer. I think it's supposed to be around 40. Um, I'm hoping it's not too cold sleeping in there. I brought like an extra blanket and I thought the little propane grill that I have could second as a little heater. It's a pretty small area. Plus Millie will probably sleep on the bed. She'll keep me warm. You want some brats? All right, let's go. All right, so give you guys a little sneak peek as to what we're cooking with. So, um, hey, Millie, how's it going? You wanna come up here? For lunch, like you just heard me say, uh, we're doing brats. For dinner, we're doing steak. I've got like a, I don't know, some type of sirloin strip of some kind. Um, breakfast, pancakes and bacon, the best. So, brats are really easy, so I'm not really too worried about these guys. Let's go ahead and, let's get this grill fired up. Oh yeah. Oh, cheese and rice. She's hot. Yeah, I figured worst case, if it gets cold tonight, honestly, I'm pretty cold right now. I'm like halfway tempted to go up there and grab a jacket, but I'm gonna try to stick it out. This would also work as a heater. I don't know how safe it is, but basically this thing would, you know, if I shut everything up, this thing creates quite a bit of heat. So I think this would be, it'd be all right. We're gonna go ahead and get this grill nice and warm. It's probably not the safest thing to have these wires right here. What we're dealing with, I basically packed a little cooler. This is just filled with everything that we're gonna need over the next day, basically. But lunch is pretty easy. We've got some Johnsonville Better with Cheddar smoked sausage. So I guess they're not really brats, they're just 
sausage with cheese. Um, there's three of them. So I'm gonna make three of them. Amelia gets one, I'll eat two. I did bring her dog food, by the way, too. So I don't know if any of you guys are hating for that reason, but she ain't gonna be starving out here. I've got a big thing of dog food so she can eat as much as she wants. Um, but let's go ahead and get these wieners on the grill. All right, wieners going in hot. Yep. We'll let those go for a little bit. I also brought this little bag. We got some snacks in here. We have some dark chocolate covered blueberry, raspberry. No, they're just blueberry. Blueberry looking things. I don't know. These were just, I literally just raided my pantry prior to this video. We got some, oh, chocolate chips. That's for the pancakes. Good old fashioned goldfish. Everybody loves a little bit of goldfish. Oh, we got, hang on. Most important. We got some Capri Suns. That's going to be, uh, that's going to be the delicacy for today's lunch is a Capri Sun. Yeah, that's good stuff. We got dog food for Millie. I didn't bring hot dog buns, so I just brought bread. It'll be a little bit of a struggle meal, but it shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad. But essentially, that's it. Like I, I've got a few more snacks, uh, stuff like that. But this is pretty much gonna be it. This is gonna. Oh yeah, they're cooking up nice. This is gonna consist of our lunch. We're gonna get this cooked up. Millie's gonna get fed, and clearly the bass are not biting. I mean, you talk about two three hours of dangling without really much, maybe a couple bites, not much. I think what we're gonna do after lunch is we're going to throw out a catfishing rod, let it chill out there, and then come back here and try to hook up the PS4 and play a little bit of Call of Duty. Um, let our stomach settle from lunch, and then after that, Millie and I are gonna go on an adventure hike. So, you guys stay tuned. Sheehoo! Wow. Dude, this girl goes off. That's some good stuff right there, baby. Little uh, quarantine survival meal here. I'm going in. She's steamy. Look at that steam, baby. Mm-hmm. This is lunch, all right? You gotta chew it. You gotta chew it. Don't just swallow it. There you go. Cheese and rice. All right, chew it up. Good dog. Oh god, you did not chew that very much. Was that pretty good, buddy? Is that better than your normal food you get at home? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and shout down on my brats, some goldfish, some dark chocolate covered blueberries and Capri Sun, and uh, see if we can get this PS4 hooked up. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous that it's gonna require too much energy and power than just a regular 12 volt can handle in the solar panel, but we're not gonna know until we try, so you guys stay tuned. Lunch is complete. Actually, Millie's finishing off a bowl of dog food. So this is what I'm thinking for catfish bait. This is, well, it's deer. I know that for sure. Um, I'm just not exactly sure what it was supposed to be, if it's just a sausage or a hot dog of some kind. I just have a ton of this stuff in my in my fridge and freezer from deer season from processing my deer. Um, so I figured I've heard of hot dogs working for catfish. Setup I've got is the uh, the old catfish kitty cat dangler 3000 it looks like. We've just got a good old fashioned uh, kind of Carolina, Texas rigged looking deal here. I am not an expert in catfishing uh, for sure. We just have a circle hook with a leader and a weight and we're just gonna we don't even have a bell we're just gonna go chuck this thing out there and just kind of keep an eye on it why not be fishing while we're either playing call of duty or going on a hike or something you might as well have a line in the water if you're gonna go try to catch some catfish so what i'm gonna do is just take a chunk of this i got a chunk about like that i'm just gonna go th go ahead and thread it on to the hook the nice thing about this is it has a little casing on it so it shouldn't fall off i mean like i said i've heard of hot dogs working for catfish i don't know if it actually will but let's go give this thing a dangle we're just gonna go ahead and throw it right in the middle of the lake here boom what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and just loosen the drag all the way so that way if a fish grabs it you hear this basically just like a little alarm so well, it's set out there. Now it's just time to wait. It is now the time you guys have been waiting for. Well, not really. I'm just going to try to play some Call of Duty. Uh, at least just get it hooked up. I'm just curious if it works. Um, I literally have not played Call of Duty in at least three years. Because I remember the last time I played, I streamed. And it was Call of Duty World War II. And that was in like my very first house I ever had, which would have been three years ago. So I literally have not played this thing in three years it's just a straight up ps4 um i just packed it packed it in here and figured hey why not try to play i mentioned it in the video where we put the tv up and you guys thought it was a good idea so let's we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this thing running here so down here is basically the setup we have for the solar powered deal that's just uh basically a 1000 watt inverter um hooked up to a 12 volt battery that's then hooked up to our solar panel so we just got to connect these two clamps down here we should hopefully have a little bit of juice, enough to hopefully run a TV and a PlayStation. Let's see if we can get the HDMI cable hooked up here. Oh, we 
got power, folks. I'll take this little guy off here. If this actually, oh, look at the PlayStation. I can't, for some reason, I just cannot believe it's working. You're kidding. Oh, we gotta get control plugged in, folks. I, I don't play video games, but something about this is dope. Like, having a fort that's completely off-grid, there's no electricity whatsoever, hook up a solar panel, and playing some Call of Duty. I feel like this is freaking sick. Oh, wow. Look at that. Can you guys believe it? This is insane. All right, well, let's play some Call of Duty. Well, just got done playing Call of Duty for like an hour. Hey, it didn't die yet. She does not want to get up though. She's all snuggled up in like a little ball. I'm ready to start hiking and exploring. And uh, and I've got a little treat for you guys as well. Um, I bought like a harness for Millie to wear the GoPro. So you guys are gonna get some Millie POV shots of her exploring and see what she finds. And then I'll bring you guys along with the, the camera as well. And we're just, we're gonna explore, honestly like, there's not really anything else to do. The bass aren't biting. The coyotes aren't out yet. You can't really hunt anything else. Catfish, well, she's still giving it a dangle. Nothing going on there. So we might as well explore a lot. I'm gonna try to take you guys where I've never taken you before. Um, we'll just kind of see how tired I get and how tired Millie gets. But we're gonna go on a quick little hike and uh, hopefully take you to some cool places that you guys haven't seen. So stay tuned. Hey, put it on, you're okay. Let's put you on. Good girl, Millie. What you think, buddy? Look at you. <laughs> You're all strapped. So this thing, I just got it. It's uh, it's a harness. So you can see we've got a GoPro here, and then you can also mount it here. I don't know if I will because I think it. Yeah, you're yeah you're getting all irritated. I can tell. We might have to take it off. We'll see. But this way, at least you'll get a little bit of a cool view. Um, and this is not this is a GoPro 4, so it doesn't have stabilization. So hopefully it's not too shaky. I'll try to stabilize it uh, with my editing software if it's too bad. But hey, at least you guys will get some Millie POV. Maybe she'll like start chasing deer or something. Something that we won't see, huh? You want to go for a hike? All right, let's go. So we've made it to. This is where, if you guys saw my trapping vlogs, this is where I caught a bobcat. I'm pretty sure it was the spot. Here, or maybe it's right there, but, so you can see where we're at. Right over there's the shelter, and then you can actually see my house way over there. Deer poop. There's a couple spots I haven't shown you guys ever. They're like huge, flat areas. Um, they're really, really tough to get to. You have to walk. I've only been there one time, um, but it's a huge field way up there. And it's literally just prairie grass. Like there's no trees or anything. And it's a really cool place to like, I don't know, build a cabin or do something. I'm gonna try to find my way up there. The problem is I've never gone from down by the pond and up. I've always gone from there and across. So we'll see if I can find it. I have gotten lost in my backyard, but believe it or not, I got lost like two hours one time trying to find the four-wheeler that I ditched, but hopefully that doesn't happen today. Millie just found that. That looks more like bobcat poop than does coyote poop. It does have the fur in it, so it could be either or, but how small it is, um, it looks a lot like bobcat poop. And this is where I caught, it's where I caught a bobcat. You see the trail right there? Down there, Millie. Oh crap, look at that. Look at that. Oh gosh. What's down there? That's a huge hole, bud. Good find. That's crazy. That's gotta be a badger. That's 100% a badger. Look at that tunnel, bro. So I think we're about to the top here. There you go. Good girl, Mill. Look at this. And now you can really see. You can see a lot now. It's so like I said, I've taken you guys over there. You can see my house. So it's like the house. Then that first hill is the where the ramp is. And then I've taken you here, I'm pretty sure I've taken here, but it's really hard to get from that point to basically up where I am now. Um, I am going to try to build a road that goes from my house all the way and then down to the pond down there. It's gonna take some time. I've got another piece of equipment that's coming, hopefully in the next week or two, that will help do that. But check out this. This is all prairie grass. It's such a big open area. Millie, I don't even think Millie's ever been, ever been up here. Like I said, I snuck, a four, I snuck the mini ATV up here one time. It's just this random huge piece of flat ground. I'll take you guys to the edge here so you can see the pond, but this is probably the highest point I would say on my property. 
and then it runs down into that valley some trees i've never been really over there either but i feel like i need to put something here like a cabin or something it's just like such a big open space or like if i could get the equipment back here this would be like a prime spot for a food plot for deer because there's so many big deer back here because this is like way far away from my house and everything else i don't know if i could get the equipment up here but it's pretty cool up here look what we got here some type of bone we're making our way back and i also found some acorn trees these guys right here one of these guys somewhere in here dropping acorns which i've never seen acorns on my property ever um which i have a feeling that's what a lot of this other stuff is but it's not my property my property is mainly just like cedar trees and stuff but either way i just found this little bone sitting right here i'm sure there's there's probably more laying around here somewhere but the fact that we found some acorns is good for deer deer like acorns and so do squirrels i can see where we need to be millie and we're nowhere near it buddy Right there is the uh, the doomsday shelter and the, the warthog. We're like on the top side, the high side, basically of this bluff area. We need to go down towards the pond, but we're slowly making our way. This is taking a lot longer. I mean, I feel like we've been hiking for at least two hours. By the time we get back, it'll probably be time for dinner. Whew, we made it. <laughs> we made it where we started. We actually, we went up right here, all the way down, back up, all the way down to the, that side of my property and made our way down here. One day, like I said, one day I'm gonna make an ATV trail that goes around that whole way. Once I have an ATV trail and I can like explore it more, I wanna build some stuff. Maybe some off-grade cabins, basically what we've already built, but like way better, way nicer, way cooler. Um, and just go hide it up in the woods somewhere. I think that'd be kind of cool to do. At least, at the very least, put some, we need to put some deer blinds up there, but we made it back to the pond. I'm exhausted. It is 4.52, it's almost five o'clock. We were literally hiking for two hours. That took forever, but hey, it was good. I feel good, that's like all the exercise I need for the day. I, I really do, I feel energized after that, believe it or not. It's like just something about getting out and running around. It really makes you feel better. So we're gonna go inside, unwind a little bit, and then hopefully get started on dinner soon. We are ready to uh, to get dinner started. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, getting st I'm starting to get hungry. That hike got me wanting to put some meat in my mouth. So what I've got prepared, we're not prepared, but what we're gonna prepare is some steak, like I said. So I've got, this is what I'm eating. This is a grass-fed beef strip loin steak. Right there, just a nice chunky piece of meat. And then for the side dish, I brought some white cheddar macaroni and cheese, which this, this is for microwave, but I don't really have a microwave, so we're just gonna have to use a grill. I've never tried to cook mac and cheese on a grill before, but hey, today, Today's that day. We're gonna give it a shot here. So let's go ahead and get the grill fired up. Cheese and rice every time. We're gonna let that guy heat up. Throw a little SPG on there. Just give it a nice, healthy coating. So we'll put the steak on one side and then we're gonna dish up the mac and cheese on the other. So I think what I'm gonna do is just dump the mac and cheese. I'm assuming it's already, oh yeah, it's already cooked. We're just gonna go ahead and dump the mac and cheese into, look at that. Freaking gourmet as it gets, baby. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this mac and cheese into this pan and just basically just gonna heat it up. You don't need a microwave, this will work. I'm gonna do half, so there's no way I'm gonna eat this whole thing. I'm probably not gonna eat that, but set that off to the side. This, you know, you can save it for later, whatever you wanna do. The grill should be nice and hot. We're gonna start with the steak on here. If it sizzles, that's a good thing. Ooh, you hear that, folks? Shee <laughs> So it's it's definitely most important that the steak gets cooked. So I'm actually gonna wait, get the steak cooked or at least close, um, because I want to keep the lid closed. That way it cooks the meat. Once I take the steak off, you usually want to let your steak sit like 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes anyway. So during that 10, 15 minutes, that's when I'll heat up the mac and cheese. I don't really want to put the handle inside there because I feel like I'm gonna burn myself that way. So we're gonna go ahead and get the steak cooked and then throw the mac and cheese on there and get all that heat up, and we should be ready to rock and roll. Cheese and rice, we got a fire. Hold up, Rick, turn it down. Wow, goodness, this girl is going off, boys. Shoo! Oh yeah, she's done for sure. Oh, okay, yep, it's done, it's done, yep. Wow, okay, definitely, definitely cooked. Probably could have taken that off a little earlier, but we're gonna go ahead and throw the mac and cheese on here. Let me grab a noodle here. Oh, that's perfect. That's a perfect temperature for macaroni. Shoo! Look at that. Steak got a little done. Some of the pieces on there are about medium. Some of them are a little bit closer to well done. But look at that. Steamy mac and cheese. Juicy, succulent looking steak. And Millie's excited. Who says quarantining is boring? Listen, we went fishing today. 
We're on a hike. We're still catfishing. Nothing's happening there. We're eating a steak dinner. We had hot dogs. We're gonna have pancakes in the morning. We're gonna go coyote hunting tonight. Me and Millie are just chilling. And uh, oh wow, wow, that steak is incredible. Whoa, Millie, you gotta get in on this, buddy. Can you sit? That's a good dog. All right, chew it. That's it's good steak. Don't just swallow it. What did I just say? Can you shake? You shake? Yeah. See, you're a good dog. All right, let me give you one more, and I'll give you some of my scraps. All right. Yeah, that's a good piece of steak, huh? Yeah, that's better than your dry dog food, huh, buddy? I'm gonna go ahead and eat as much as I can. This is a lot of food. Millie, it's your lucky day, buddy. That is as much as I could eat, so. The rest is gonna be hers. She's gonna be happy. There you go, buddy. Just a few pieces of delicious steak for the doggo. I'm absolutely stuffed, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my coyote call and go stick it out there. Take you guys along with me. That way it's just ready. Then I'm gonna come in here, hang out. I'll probably pull the mule on the backside here, so it's kind of hidden a little bit, but I'm gonna go set the call out there. That way I can basically just unwind for the night and hang out, and uh, when I feel the time is right to turn the call on, I'm basically, I'm ready. I'm right here. I can pull this window down. I took the screen out and take the AR-15 if it's during the daylight. And if we want to do it at night, take the thermal, go basically just aim it right over there. Cause I feel like that's probably where the animals are going to be coming from. Basically where we were, you guys saw where I saw a bobcat poop earlier all throughout there. And we saw tons of coyotes. We, we did coyote trapping up there. We didn't get any, but we saw tons of coyotes up there. So I'm thinking everything will come down. If I put the call right in that corner over there, then I can shoot from the window. That's kind of the plan. So let's go ahead and grab the call and uh, go get it set out. So I'll put the call here basically forces them the only way they can get across is right there that means no matter what no matter where they are up there if they want to get to this rabbit right here they're gonna have to cross that path which is right in direct shooting path of the sniper tower and the building depending on which one i want to shoot from if it's at night with the thermal i'll probably go up to the sniper tower and leave millie inside that way it doesn't ring her ears it's gonna destroy my ears otherwise if i'm just gonna do a daylight shot i'll probably do it from the inside so they can't see me so oh yeah look at that all right flip the call on boom she's on I'm gonna face it that way. That's the setup right there. We got the motion, the sound, and we're gonna be shooting right from right there. So we're gonna go back basically now, and I'm gonna park the mule on the backside of the building just to hide it a little bit. And basically we're just gonna kick it. Like I said, we got a catfish line out still. Nothing's really come of that. So we're just gonna hang out, maybe play some cod, watch some YouTube videos, just relax, unwind a bit, and then hopefully get a coyote down on the ground. You guys stay tuned. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Look at it. And check this out. <laughs> this is my kind of coyote hunting here, folks. This perfect little shot right here. Look, screen's out. Fits during the day. Take the old AR-15. That's a dead coyote there, boy. We got Millie up here. She's just hanging out. I'm not sure how her and I are gonna fit on this twin bed. She she herself requires about a queen. She's not a small dog by any any means, but we're gonna try to make it work. Her and I are just gonna hang out until uh, I feel it's time. Let me get a time check real quick. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. It is 6.52. So we've got probably, what, an hour or so, you think, before sundown. I'm just gonna wait until it's prime, like right at sunset, right when it's just, I can I can barely see. Um, and then we're gonna turn the cow call on and me and Miller are gonna see what happens. Ah, Bubby, you sleeping? We gotta kill the coyote. I know you're tired, but we gotta kill the coyote. Well, folks, that was, uh, you know, about 30, 40 minutes right now. It is 7.43 p.m. It's getting pretty dark out there. Millie is just, she is just wanting to go to bed. It's a little too early to like go to bed, bed. We gotta like wait a couple more hours. You know what I mean? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open this window here. I've got the remote here. Probably should turn these lights off, huh? I'm just gonna hope you guys can see me. All right, so we're going with the old trusty AR-15. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Well, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear the call because the call's facing that way and you guys are inside, but here goes nothing. Well, nothing. According to the call, it's been going for 22 minutes. Millie, 
What happens when a cow does not come in 22 minutes? That's right. It means there ain't no freaking cows. What you think, dude? You ready to go to bed? It's been, what's that been, like two, uh, two hours, 15 minutes? I watched a lot of YouTube. In case you guys are wondering who I watch, okay? We watched some Kendall Gray, we watched some Outlaw. We watched a little bit of AP Bassin, believe it or not. He went down to Florida, but was watching that. So I watched a Tanner Fox video. I watched a couple farming videos. Demolition Ranch was on there. There was a few other ones. Basically, I literally just sat here and watched YouTube for the last couple hours. And um, I haven't heard any coyotes. It's, I mean, it's pitch black. I'll give you guys a... Can I, how do I get out of this thing? It's the only bad thing about this door we designed. You can't get it from the, you can get it from the outside, but it's, you gotta like go through this window. There it is. Oh, sh that light works. Look at this guy. Oh, this is bright. I'm gonna turn this off. Let's go ahead and shut this guy up. Make sure it latches. We don't need any buggy men getting in. A little bit chilly, so this is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna turn this guy on, take the Mac off like that and let it rip for a bit. Oh snap! Um, figured this would probably heat this up a little bit, um, but I mean, I'm gonna I'm just gonna sleep with my clothes on. I've got a hoodie on, I got pants on, but this has sheets comforter. And then I I brought this extra quilt. And Millie is definitely some extra some warmth. You're not gonna be cold. You're like hell yeah, I'm mountain dog. This is what I live for. Me, not a mountain dog. Beefcake. Mountain dog. I'll give you an update if I wake up, I guess, in the middle of the night. I'm going to leave the camera right here on a tripod right by me so I can give you guys a quick update. I might sleep through the night. Um, the thing is, I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow morning, um, maybe through the night. If it's raining, I'm definitely going to wake up because this is a it's a metal roof. Like, there's there's not a chance I'm going to sleep through it. So, if I wake up throughout the night, I'll let you guys know. Um, otherwise, see you guys in the morning. How's that lighting? Look at this. Yeah. Millie doesn't really seem to care. But uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. It is uh, 1.30, actually. It didn't get any warmer. I'm having a tough time sleeping. I dozed off a couple times. Um, but uh, it's just, it's it's cold. <laughs> it's, it's freaking cold, folks. I'll tell you right now, I really need to invest in a heater. Um, and you might be wondering, well, why don't I just turn the grill back on? Yeah, the grill worked for a while. The problem is, the second it warms up, I'm going to fall asleep. And now I'm just scared having a grill, like an open fire propane grill on, you know, while I'm sleeping. Sitting here in a wood shed with blankets and covers. And I need like a like a safe, a safe uh, heater. She is absolutely unfazed. She's, she's also taken up most of the bed. My feet have been stuck at this little sliver. She's gotten most of the bed right now. It's just not, it's just not comfortable, but I just want to give you guys a quick update. Like I said, it's 1, 1 1.30. I think I'm going to turn the grill on one more time and just make sure I do not fall asleep and then turn it off real quick and try to fall asleep and hopefully I don't see you guys until daylight. Morning, buddy. You sleep all right? It is 7.05 a.m. Millie. Good thing, bud. We made it. You made it through the night. You guys can see it's still, sun's still coming up. Well, I guess it's, yeah, I guess it's cloudy today too. But it's, it's 7 a.m. and let me get some light in here. Millie, what did you think last night, bud? It's the next day. Um, I was trying to just get that, I was trying to get that one light on. These guys all just want to, because sometimes you can point it. Yeah, yeah. What if I do this? Is that lighting pretty good or no? It was pretty cold last night. I did fall asleep um, and I only woke up, I remember waking up twice and it was because of this little guy. Yeah, because you were growling. I don't know what you thought you heard. She might have heard some coyotes, but I didn't hear any, huh? Did you hear some coyotes? The thing is, I was so cold, I did not want to get out of my bed to go and try to hunt them. I, I didn't hear the coyotes, but I'm assuming that's what she heard. Are you still sleepy? Did you enjoy it in here? You took up most of the freaking bed though, buddy. We need to get you like a doggy bed down there so you can just sleep and mind your own business and I can have a whole bed to myself because it wasn't very comfortable with her. I'm going to go ahead and get the grill fired up, uh, mainly just to try to heat this place up. And then uh, and then we're going to get started on breakfast, get an early start on it and uh, get some food. I am pretty hungry and uh, get Millie fed. Well, I guess we got to go check our catfish pole too. That's, that's still out there dangling. We might have a catfish on, so you guys stay tuned. Every time, Millie. Every time. 
Boy, does that feel good. You want some fire, buddy? What do you want? You're being kind of whiny this morning. I don't, you want food? You want pancakes? Chill, chill, chill. You can't be that hungry. You ate all that steak. You ate some normal dog food. I gave you a hot dog with cheese. You want some pancakes and bacon? All right, I'll take that as a yes. That uh, seems all right. Well, folks, here we go. Um, time to make some pancakes. I just realized I uh, filmed for the last 10 minutes without hitting the record button. So uh, we've got bacon on the uh, skillet here. It's starting to heat up, as you guys can see. Put it in the cheesy mac and cheese dish. Um, figured, who doesn't love cheesy bacon? Um, but then I brought um, some Angel Mama pancakes. I didn't bring any measuring devices, but I assume that's probably about a cup. And then right here, we've got three quarters of a cup of milk. That's going to be added in here. And I, I mean, I feel like I, I can base, base the consistency of the pancakes off of just like eyeballing it. So I'm not super worried that I didn't bring a measuring device. And then milk's in. And we've got an egg right here that I brought from home. Not broken, perfectly intact. Go ahead and crack that guy in here. Boom. All right. Go ahead and whisk this guy together. See, see what the consistency is. We might need more powder. Um, I brought the correct measurements of milk and an egg. Um, it was three quarter cups. So if this is a little too runny, then I just need you good, bro. I just need to add a little bit more more mix. But the bacon's starting to kind of cook, and I've got this. I mean, I've got the grill on high. Are you good? Bro? You got allergies too? We've got the grill on high, so hopefully the pan's nice and hot by the time we get done with this. Perfect. I know, Millie, you're hungry. Me too, buddy. So we're gonna go two. We're gonna go two cakes on this one since we're using the big pan. Well, Millie had to go pee, so let her out. Open the door. It's freaking freezing out there, but uh, it's not not getting cooked. You can see it's starting to get. Well, you can see that's starting to get a little bit brown. Pancakes I have flipped once. Uh, they were not ready to flip. Um, but I went ahead and flipped them anyway. I guess while we're waiting, let's go check the catfish line. Moment of truth here, folks. This was out all night. Go ahead and tighten it. Start reeling. Nope. Nothing. How does that go out there all night long with nothing? I don't understand that. Oh! We got freaking robbed, folks. Looky, looky. Nothing on my hooky. Let me rip you off a piece. All right, don't tell mom. You like pancakes? I'm sure they're not probably that good for dogs. I just made her two little guys. I'm not gonna give her any more than this. Yeah, that's probably not good for it, huh, buddy? But it's all right. You were a good dog last night other than growling at, I don't even know what. You woke me up a couple times, but you weren't too bad. Pancakes are doing all right. They're just not getting that like dark brown. I'll show you. See that? We got we got vanilla. Vanilla flavored pancakes is basically what that looks like. We're gonna go ahead and try our breakfast, our pancakes. Brought a little maple scissor going in. A little drizzle. You can see how thick it is because it's so cold out here. That's crazy. Here we go. Cheers, boys. Tastes like normal pancakes. Believe it or not, even though they're not brown and golden, they're just vanilla looking. They taste great. I absolutely just house those things. Those were freaking delicious. It's already 8.30 right now. So what, what time do we, we started cooking like an hour ago? An hour for two pan, well, I guess Millie got two pancakes, but we're gonna go ahead and cook the rest of these pancakes up. I don't think the bacon's probably gonna happen. And then uh, I'm gonna try dangling for a little bit and see if I can catch a fish before 9.30. Cause 9.30 is a cop for the 24 hour challenge. I wanna try to catch a fish. All right, buddy, time to head home. You ready to go home? Yeah, I'm sure you are. Probably like, oh, let me get home into my real bed. Don't have to share a bed with you. See, I'm thinking the same thing, so we're on the same page, bud. Yep, we're on the same page. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It was, uh, I mean, I had fun doing it. It was a solo mission. You guys haven't seen a solo video in a while, so if you guys enjoy just, just me and maybe a dog or something, um, just hanging out, talking, relaxing, fishing, 
eaten, whatever it might be. If you guys enjoyed the solo videos, let me know in the comment section down below. I mean, the bunker was good. I think the only thing is we just need a better cooktop, and I need to get a heater, like a safe heater, that I could run throughout the night, just to keep me a little bit more warm. It wasn't bad. I mean, I slept with clothes. I had, like, two comforters on. It wasn't that bad. I just wasn't, it wasn't like sleeping in my own bed. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, if you guys want to go check out any of the new Guggen Squad stuff, including the Flare Bundle or the Lunkers TV, AP, John B, LFG, even Low Joe's got a bundle out there. They'll all be linked down below. Use promo code Flare. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and peace.